G'day guys, picking up from where I left off in the last video, I was about to start making the frame. I began by building supports for the steps, attaching those, and then building the frame up from there, up around the sides of the seats and towards the front of the body. After doing this on both sides, I then continued building the frame up around the front to create the nose or the bonnet section of the frame, and also made the window section. And this was way too high when I first made it, so I had to lower the whole thing. Next I finished the back of the Warthog, doing the section around the tray walls and the section at the back of the seats. And with the frame complete, it was time for another test run. I thought it would be a bit harder to get into the driver's seat, but it actually wasn't too bad. The tricky bit is not hitting your head on the back of the frame while you're driving. But I'm pretty happy with how she runs. When she is running, I'm having a few technical difficulties at the moment, but that's alright. And with the frame done, it was time to begin the process of armour plating and trying to make it look pretty. I started by attaching thin strips of metal to the rim around the front of the Warthog and plating the small sections either side of the bonnet. And then I did the same thing for the rim around the back of the Warthog. Next I slapped on some big bits of metal for the main plating sections, and these are a bit dull at the moment, but I'm going to spice them up a bit later. The next thing I decided to do was finish the rim that goes around the outside of the vehicle, and this was extremely painful to do. I don't have a metal bender, so I had to cut all these thin strips of metal individually and get them the right shape and weld them on. I've also started making some decorative sections out of metal, such as this big plate at the back here. I made this by first cutting out the main shape, and then using some separate sections like this piece, and then I cut some square steel in half to make the recessed sections, like you can see here, and welded the whole thing together, and voila! Put it in place and it's ready to go. A few other miscellaneous things I've done are install a wooden tray in the back, which is just temporary. I rewired some of the startup system because the cables were really old and the connections weren't working properly. And then I made a choke out of an old bicycle brake cable and installed that. And that's pretty much where I'm up to with it at the moment. Thanks for watching.